So, um, dope session about to happen with Daru Strong. I know probably all of y'all know him, but got a training session with your boy. We're gonna see how it goes. You know Jake Boswick, you ever, you ever seen him? Yeah, I've seen him. Okay, so you're going to work out with him too. Okay. Right, so he's going to push you. I'm going to push you. And then we got Nick Davenport too. He's going to do some of the cognitive stuff too for you. All right. So we're going to implement it all in like you were a fighter. All right. Let's do it. All right, let's yeah. get let's it. Let's do it. Yeah. Have you boxed, um, uh, done any boxing or anything? When I was 16. Yeah, that would look perfect. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Oh boy, how you feeling, brother? I feel good. Yeah. I feel real good. So, the ruin the guys are gonna put me through the ringer, and it's exactly what I wanted. Because on the fitness journey, you can push, push, and push, push yourself as far as you can. But at some point, you have to this acknowledge. Is that next step. Yeah, I need I need an expert. I need an yeah. expert to help me change my trajectory and continue on this weight loss journey. So, you know, it's... I don't know if you hear this anthem in the background, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We so, the right music. we're about to get to it. Probably have to dub this Y'all stay tuned. That's all right. Relax. 
three, two, one, go. Yes. You feel me? So it just depends on or it could be both. And if both are on point, that one was both on point, then I'm gonna make a physical piece. So if red is higher, I don't want you to run to the cone, I want you to give me a jump. Okay. So that's the difference. So the red no run. Stay where you're at, give me a jump. If blue room, if blue is the higher, go to the cone. That's the difference. Red higher, jump, blue, higher, run. So that's why we change it up higher. Which one? Ready? Three, two, one, go. You know what? There we go. You know what? Yep. Nice. Nice to see Nice. How you talk? Hey, wait up. Hey, wait up. Relax. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good Yeah. Now, one more. Last one. Let's see, where we at? 36. Fuck! I know, fuck it, bro. That's all right. So 30 stays between the 32 and 33. On two occasions. When you're there, oh, I just feel stuck it. on two occasions. I'm curious on both sides. I made a stinking move. Hey, catch my man's shirt. I'm body one, we say, one, get your mind right. It's all about the mind. Get in tune with your body. That, that's what I do. Oh, you got a, what's a, what's that? You clear out a space for me, give me a phone with a phone. I'll give him a phone call first. All right, Jake, show him real quick. So, what do you mean by your little section? You're gonna go ankles, knees, hips, and you're slamming it down. As you slam it down, you're gonna slam it to you. You're gonna pick it back up, and you're gonna slam it to him. All right, we're gonna do this for one minute. Slam it sort of like here, like you're trying to get it towards in as a V. Okay. Up onto your toes and you sit. Right here. Slam it in, fix it up. Up to go. Okay, just like that. All right. Keep it going. All right. We got one. Two. Shit. See your body in there. Like a squat. Try to put a fucking hole in the floor. Okay. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Exhale. Exhale. Hold your breath. Exhale. Exhale, I want to hear it. Breathe in, breathe out. Go in. Good. You want to sit back like you're going to jump. Back like you're going to jump. There you go, first. Go, let's go, Jay. How are you? Go. Come on. Foul. 30 in, 30 left. Let's go. Go out. Come on. Yeah. Good, good power. 20 seconds. Come on. Let's go. Good. Come on. Come on, bitch. 
Ten seconds. Keep it going. Roll out. Roll out. Come on. Finish. Two more. Good. One more each. One more each. Come on. Finish. Relax. Okay. One thing. Okay, we got rotation. Rotation now. All right, so we're going to stand sideways, right? You can stand facing this way. Jason's going to stand facing this way. You're going to go up all the way around. Slam it down. Okay? You pick it back up. Back and forth. We got one minute, then we're going to switch sides. Why don't you slam it right next to you? You're grabbing it. You got to pick it up. Okay, so he's going to slam it. The ball's going to come That's up a little bit. bit. Slam it up and go from there. Try to catch it off the bounce. Right. I, do you want me to go here? No. Or do you want me to go to catch out it in? here? Underneath, and then slam it down. So as, I, as you slam it down, I catch the ball, I swing around all the way back to you. So figure eight. Comprende back. On the out. Yep. Out in on the out. Yep. Out and in. Boom. All right. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Good. Good rotation. Again. Blow it out. Blow your breath. Come on. Come on. Big rotation. Good work. Good work. Come on. Keep it going. Take body. Come on. Good work now. Slam it down. Switch sides. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. Right to it. Oh, okay. Hit it. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Whip it through. Whip it. Fast. Fast on the rotation. Come on. Fast. There you go. Let's go. Good. Slow. Come on. Fast. Go down. Good. Don't lose it. Ten seconds. Come on. Go, son. Finish. Finish. Come on. Come on. One more each. Let's go. Right here. Finish it up. Finish. Good, relax. Okay, one minute. Good job. Breathe, breathe now. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Breathe. Boys don't play. Take a second. How you feeling? Yeah. Three seconds. Control your breathing, right? I always want to try not to breathe in through your neck. Try to breathe through your diaphragm. Right? Try not to increase upper chest breathing. I want you to breathe through here. Right? Nice and slow and controlled. All right? Not sporadic. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Right? That's it. You control your breathing. You control your heart rate. You control your heart rate. You control your energy. Say that again. Control your breathing. You control your heart rate. You control your heart rate. You control your energy output. All right? Control the body. The mind controls the body. You control your mind. All right, let's get it. Here we go. One more set. One more set on each. Slam it down. And I'm calling Duru strong for nothing, brother. In case you were wondering. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Ready, oh. son? Same. Let's yep. go now. Let's go. He's going to push you. Ready? Go. <laughs> Interchangeable. Yeah, of course. Everything is. Yeah. How do you, yo, I was just about to ask, how do you adjust? So, like, mm -hmm. let's say with Jake, mm -hmm. it, do you do set times, like four to six weeks, or is it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a whole 
whole process that you either start off, you have two phases of training, really. And then there's three cycles of that broken down, right? So two phases, one phase is gonna be off camp, the other phase is gonna be in camp, right? Inside of in camp, you have two phases in that. So there's two cycles that we go through. Based upon Jake, now Jake's been with me for seven years so that we can just go, right? He's very strong and he's very explosive. So most of the time, my goal for him, especially for what he does, is I want him to increase his power repeatability. My guy, what's good? <laughs> you know, bro, I thought you were going to be like six foot four. Yeah, a lot you got, You're like a rhino, bro. Yeah, a lot of people. <laughs> Damn, bro. His you voice, see him, especially your pictures. His voice sounds like he's as big as me. Probably sound. Yeah, okay. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. if, you know, if, if I couldn't see you and I heard you, I'd yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, oh, think you're a fucking Were you born and raised here in Florida? Yeah, I went to Deerfield High School. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, he's like, he's, that's basically Green Acres. Yeah. I mean, it's not, but, you know, if you're from Florida, you know. Oh. All Florida white boys. Sound and look a certain way. <laughs> that's it. That's where I'm from. I said right here. Yeah, right. That's, that's it. it. Back See, yard. he didn't say right here. He said right here. <laughs> Florida talk. That's it, bro. Uh, so this is primarily what we're doing is you're going down all the way. I'll tell you where to go. It's like right over that white line. So it's gonna be ten yards down, ten yards back. All right. As soon as you get back, he's going. Right where Jake is. Yeah. So you're gonna turn it. We're gonna go high. Look. We're gonna go high handles all the way through. With the turn, you want to push and pull, right? So you got to push and pull, right? Gotcha. You want that turn to be as efficient as possible because that's what's going to be the one the thing that's going to fuck you up if not. Well, we're timing this. You're timing it. I want you down and back in less than 12 seconds. Check right. first so you Go first so you can see it. But down and back in less than 12 and we got 10 rounds. Ready? As soon as he comes back, you go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Ready? Come on. Come on.
Here, bro. Yeah. Come on, Kush. Control your breathing. All right, here we go. The final push, right here. Right. Give me down and back. Down and back. Come on. Down and back. Good speed. Turn it up. Turn it up. Bring it home fast. Straight line. Finish, 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 finish. Good. Good. All right, hold it right there. I got one more. Turn around. Turn around. Be ready. Be ready. Don't fucking pass out of me. It's on the move. Yeah, I'm trying not to. You got 10 seconds. Down and back. This is that fucking work, son. Yeah. This is that difference. That's it. That people don't want to do. That's it. <laughs> that I'm doing. <laughs> hey, catch what his man is saying. <laughs> that shit's for real. It's fucking true though. Right now my mind's fucking me. I don't even wanna fucking do this shit. I'm doing it. I don't wanna do this shit. <laughs> no one wants to do this shit, right? This is what separates. No, no one wants to do this. Forward, forward, forward. Alright, Hey, I feel like a bitch. No, yeah, it's good to feel like a bitch. You gotta work. Now what is this? Is this for agility or strength? What would agility? Agility is reaction. Agility is your ability to go from a static to a dynamic as fast as possible. Oh, okay. Huh? Like off the line type shit? Yeah. So the agility is your reaction from when you when you're in a stick like a static position to when you're being more dynamic. Right, so with this, this is repeat efforts. So you have to increase your speed and keep your speed for a long duration of time with limited amount of rest. Right, so you're utilizing a lot of oxygen when you do this. Somewhat, yeah, somewhat. You can call it hit, you can call it lactic capacity like I talked about, right? And you said that Power endurance. Muscles? Yeah, you you're utilizing oxygen. From the muscle? From the muscle. Right? Utilizing that oxygen is coming out of the muscle because you need to produce force. Right? You're pushing weight. And then you're trying to deliver that back as fast as we possibly can. Deliver that oxygen back to the working tissue so that you can produce force again. 
right? So it's the ability to reproduce force as fast as possible, uh, yeah, over and over again. And now, would you say this is like something for football players and people that you, love sports? You can do it for football, you can do it for any power endurance sport, right? MMA, boxing, that helps too as well. That's why we use it, especially during camps, because we can put this inside of a weight training program and utilize it so we can run concurrent systems. So basically I can have him do a weight training session and still do the conditioning with this particular style yeah. because it's not gonna take him too far away from the actual stimulus. Of what we was actually doing in the training session. Hey, y'all boys are animals. <laughs> I like this, I feel beat the hell up. I worked out this morning, but uh, yeah. I ain't bitching. Hey, uh, you ain't going that journey, man. Yeah. It's good. You know, a lot of people ain't doing what you're doing. Hey, look. Take your shirt off, bro. <laughs> I say on my channel all the time, I'm not ashamed of my body. Never have been, never will be. Look, this dude's a fucking ox. Look at him. Bro, bro, you can be like this. Yeah, bro, but I've been I'm, I'm in process. How long you been doing this? I've been fighting fucking 17, 18 years. 17, 18 years. I'm loading. Look at this man. <laughs> Look, my nipples are hard, bro. <laughs> I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. Yes, sir. Easy. Good job. I feel dead, but I'm ready. Because they're very intense yeah, and they take a lot out of me, right? But the one thing that you can do, that's him bringing out his yeah, shirt, by that. the way. Two miles a day. You're I start running two miles a day. Jogging. Okay. Because I'm pushing 284 pounds. Yeah. But so, so sometimes, sometimes it's good to just bring down the intensity and go for a longer duration. So even just walks, 10, 20, 30, 40 minute walks every day will help you with bringing down the weight because you want to. If you're staying in a highly sympathetic state, if you're increasing cortisol, that can give a negative effect to your body fat rate. What is that? What does that do? Like if you increase cortisol? If you increase your cortisol, it's increasing your stress response, right? Oh. So whenever you do a training session, you're increasing cortisol, right? Now that's good. And I got you. It's good to do that because your body has to adapt, but you don't want chronic stress. Yeah. You don't want chronic elevated cortisol because then you'll load up and your body's gonna, it's gonna be a detriment. Your body's gonna wanna hold on to body fat, right? So chronic stress is bad. Acute stress to get an adaptation is what you need. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So the goal is to recover. Now, when you do walks, it's a recovery method, but you're still doing something that is giving you calorie expenditure. Yeah. You really, if you can't recover from the training session, you're not gonna progress. Yeah. So you're slowly digging yourself into a hole. Bro, you just blew my mind open, bro. Cause I've been, I've been pushing harder, yeah. thinking yeah, yeah. I, I plateaued, so I just need to keep going. No, that's not how it goes. You, you actually need to stay. I have two days off, bro. Yeah. You have two days off? Yeah. yeah. Sure, bro. You need to take it. You need to take at least two days, three days off. Let your body recover. Obviously, monitor your calories. Yeah. And then go for your walks, and you'll see that your body fat will decrease mm. because your cortisol is elevated too much. So I essentially what he said in Florida terms, I've been hustling backwards because I've been going hard, 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 thinking the more I work, the the better effect it has on my body. When really it's rest and recovery. Well, we don't R and R, baby. You don't want to work maximally. You don't want to work minimally. You want to work optimally. So that's really what you gotta think about. Right? So what's the optimal amount of work that you can do in a given week, in a given month, that is gonna allow you to progress and also recover. Yeah. And so it does take time to understand where your maximum recoverable volume is, but that's trial and error. The good thing is that you have to know your body. So you have to know, okay, did I recover from this session? Was it too much? Then you just take Yeah, you have like this holistic approach to working out. Like you're, I'm listening to you talk and you're like, yo, push it, give yourself rest. Yeah. A lot of times there's two extremes. Like, yeah. well, like when I go running, I'll be straight up. I listen to Goggins. Cause he's like, you're a bitch, you're fat, you can't do shit. Yeah, and I'm just- I'm gonna tell you this, like Goggins has, has a place with, you know, if people are very lazy and they don't have the mental fortitude to do anything, He's, he's a good person to have in your head so that you can get up off the couch. Yeah. You don't really need that. Yeah. You kind of need somebody to be like, yo, chill. Yeah. Right? A lot of my guys need that. I used to be like that too. But I found out that the people that are self-motivated, that have a goal, right, they can go overboard. And then it could be a detriment. Damn. So you got to find a healthy balance. Hey, right there, bro.
Listen, I'm glad you're here, man. I mean, I think, I think it's commendable, one, and it's motivating, you know, for anybody out there that's looking to get better, right? Improve on anything in life. Take it from this man right here. He's putting in the work, he's putting in the effort. Right, maybe putting in a lot of work, maybe a little bit too much effort. <laughs> I gotta taper them off. But remember what I always said: don't train maximally, don't train minimally, train optimally. Make sure that you're always consistently trying to get better in all aspects of life, not just in fitness, but also your mental state, yeah. right, and the nutrition too as well. Yeah. It all comes together, and uh, and be a well-rounded individual. That's the main thing. Right? Amen. Oh, I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate